heart that hurts I want to spend my life Mending broken people I want to spend my life Mending broken people Namaste. Namaste. Hello and welcome to another 3ABN Today cooking program. I'm Jill Morricone and I am delighted to be here in the kitchen today with a fabulous sari. Compliments of my friend Padma Mediti and Padma, we are so happy that you could come back and share the wonderful gift of cooking that God has given to you. Padma has been here before and we said she has got to come back. Number one, we just need to eat that good food again. Yes. <laughs> but number two, she has a heart for ministry and just a gift that God's given to you. So thank you so much for coming back. Oh, I'm delighted to be here and I thank 3ABM for giving me this opportunity to share my vegan, delicious, tasty Indian recipes. I know, and they are fabulous. You are from South India, is that yes, correct? Yes, I am from South India. And her husband came with her today as well and he's a doctor and he, you're putting him to work though in the kitchen. Yes, <laughs> I know, he's, he's a family practitioner. He's the medical director of Suncoast. Okay. But he says, oh, I have to, do what the boss says. <laughs> <laughs> and in addition, you brought a friend Josie, so. Yes, Josette is here helping us and I'm so grateful for her. That's and we had to drive a long way, so it really helped for, for us to have Josette with us. Yes, that's a blessing. So tell me a little bit about the progression in your ministry, what God has been doing. I know the last time you were here, you were telling us you were getting ready to go to Trinidad, I think it was, Trinidad and Tobago, and you were doing some cooking classes or some stuff. Ministry, ministry actually. So tell us about that. Yes, I'm, I'm actually very um, involved in church, mm -hmm. and I'm actually one of the facilitators for our CHIP program. It's a complete health improvement program. Yes. So so we're busy with that and I also do, I'm a facilitator for depression and anxiety program mm -hmm. at church. Amen. So very busy with that ministry wise. We also travel and go on two to three mission trips, so medical mission trips, me and my husband together. Yes, because you're a nurse. So then that's a great yes, team so I can to be help. able to go out and do that. Exactly. My husband, you know, does such a wonderful job, you know, seeing patients and mm -hmm. helping them, taking care of their medical needs. Amen. And I'm there with the ladies, but I told you last time I was going to Trinidad. See, so and tell us what guess happened. what? We <laughs> did go to Trinidad. The pastor there invited us, and we had a fabulous time there. Aww. And I did actually, they recorded several shows for the Indian cooking part of it, and I did 17 recipes. The <gasps> The Adventist wow. Conference there uh -huh. did the recording for us. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, the 3ABN really, really helped me and taught me a lot. <laughs> so I've learned a lot. I was able to function there by myself. Because your husband wasn't able to come, and no. so you had nobody in the kitchen. So you're preparing 17 recipes and, and showing the viewers how yes, to make. Yes, and, and we did it over a period of a week, so six days. Um, okay. You know, we were recording all that. So it, it went very well. It was really great. And last year, we went to... Guyana. Oh. It was 2016 that we went to Trinidad, but last year we went to Guyana and I did a cooking segment for them on their national television too. Oh, so it was very nice. Yeah. And we have an invitation to go to South Africa. Amen. They contacted us to come there and help with the ministry. So Amen. I'm really excited. You know, we're just willing to go where the Lord leads us. Yeah, you know what I see, Padma, is I see God opening up doors for your yes, ministry absolutely. and God growing the ministry that he's given to you. You know, uh, she has a great gift for cooking. Um, I can attest to that because I've eaten her food and it's fabulous. But not only that, it's plant-based. It's vegan. It's taking these Indian recipes and making them plant-based and then sharing that with people all over the world. So praise the Lord what he is doing um, with your ministry and your website. Let's give your website. I know several times throughout the program we will give her website and contact information so you can contact Padma for yourself. But what's your website? Padma? It's sweetsoothingmusic.com. 
sweetsoothingmusic.com. Now that seems to have nothing at all to do with cooking, so that tells me then but that I you do some music. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. So when we, when I went to Trinidad and Guyana, they had meetings going on in the evenings. So I would be singing in the evenings mm -hmm. and doing cooking classes in the morning time Amen. with the ladies and everything. Well, my husband was seeing patients. Okay. So we are a great team together. Isn't that a blessing? Yes. Amen. Today we are doing Indian cuisine. This is all vegan, yes. vegetarian. Let's take a look at those recipes. We're going to make a veggie meat biryani. We're making yes. biryani. Yes. Yummy. <laughs> I can't wait to try that. And a mushroom and cashew curry. To me, that's authentic Indian. You have to have some sort of curry. Uh, sauteed beets. Yes. You will love that. Ooh, sauteed kale and coconut. Now I'm going to like that. Mm -hmm. I like kale. Yummy. Red lentil doll. Ooh. Yes. Nice. <laughs> and a little dessert to end things up with a mango lassi. Yes. I love that. You're going to love all these recipes. Oh, yeah. I'm ready to eat. Now, let's read our first recipe for the biryani. Let's read that. For the vegan veggie meat biryani, you need two and a half cups basmati rice. One cup dry vegetarian beef chunks, mm -hmm. two to three tablespoons olive oil, four to five whole cardamom, four to five whole cloves, one small cinnamon stick, three to four bay leaves, one star anise, one medium onion. You also need two to three teaspoons ginger garlic paste, one half to one teaspoon madras curry powder, one quarter teaspoon turmeric powder, one quarter teaspoon cumin powder, one quarter teaspoon coriander powder, and one bunch of fresh cilantro. One half green bell pepper, one medium tomato, three to four tablespoons lime juice, and salt to taste. Now, we've never made biryani here, have no. we? Have you, you've never made One it? of your three avian viewers called me and asked me if I can show biryani because it's just really amazing flavors going there. Yes. It's a little complicated, but if they don't have all the ingredients, it's okay. We can first start off with the oil. Now, would you make biryani for special occasions? Or? Yes. Okay. It's so this only is a very fancy special. dish. Yes, absolutely. It's a little fancy dish. <laughs> okay. So now that we put the oil in there, first we do all the dry ingredients. Okay? So we just add the cardamom. Nice. Cloves. Yep. Cinnamon. Just put it in a stick, yep. And the star. I love and that. The star of the anise. That's great. With the bay leaves. Uh -huh. You can just stir just a little bit. Just a quick stir. The oil is nice and hot. Nice. With that, we can put some, the wet ingredients come now. Do you use a certain type of oil? I, I used olive oil, but it's pomace, P-O-M-A-C-E. That's the olive oil okay. that we can use because when I cook, the temperatures have to be hot and you can't really heat the other olive oil that high. Right, you okay. Know. So they said pomace, P-O-M-A-C-E, if they can remember that. P-O-M-A-C-E. Yes. Okay. That's olive oil. Good. So we just nice. put the onion. Oof, it smells good already. Green chilies. Mm -hmm. You just stir this. We'll pretend they're brown. <laughs> I've been doing this for a while. <laughs> so you know all about television, but normally you would wait till it starts to brown. Exactly. Okay. It has to be light brown. You want the onions to saute nicely, translucent. Oh, yes. Okay. And now I'm going to put the ginger garlic paste. Now, how can people make ginger garlic paste? It's equal wanna... amounts of ginger and garlic. Okay. And you just put a little water and blend it. Oh, and I it? make, yeah, and I make a little bit and keep it for a week or two or three. Or you can freeze it too. And then you can just take a cube or two and use it. Nice. Yes. I like that. Now, when you do the ginger garlic paste, you just have to fry it till the raw smell kind of goes. Okay. You, don't, you don't want it smelling. Oh. Ooh, raw. It's wonderful. Okay. And now I'm going to just add the ingredients. We have, I don't want to put the curry powder because everybody will start. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to slow this down. <laughs> turmeric, little turmeric, cumin and coriander powder together. Uh -huh. Now why are you using the powder now instead of seeds? This is biryani, so we have to use powders. 
The quick and that's stir. Permission or yes. Okay. A quick stir, and I'm going to put this mixture. I'll tell you about the mixture. Oh. Now that mixture is red bell peppers, okay. onions, mm -hmm. one green chili, and tomato. Is it red bell pepper or green bell pepper? Sorry, green bell pepper. I was gonna say it yeah, looks no, green. No, so. no, yeah, no, no. I meant to say <laughs> okay. I meant to say green green okay. green bell pepper. Right. Now you need we need to So you just took all those ingredients and you blended them yeah, in the blender. Yes. Okay. That's all. If they follow the directions that I gave, you can they can they can absolutely see that. Now this we must allow that to cook because it's going to take a little while for the green peppers and everything to kind of saute. When, and you will see that just as it's cooking a little bit, then we can add our veggie meat. Aww. But I will let it cook for a little bit, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And then we add the veggie meat biryani, maybe let's say like two to three minutes, and then you add the veggie meat. And then when you add the veggie meat, it'll just absorb all the spices. It has cardamom and, you know, all these spices that we just put, the cloves yep. and the, the coriander powder, powder the, the cumin mm -hmm. powder, all that's in there now, including, mm. you know, the curry powder, yep. everything is in there. Yep. So now, do you see that? Oh, I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nicely simmering, it's but you know, <laughs> yeah. But we just need to cook that just for like two to three minutes. Okay. We'll just pretend that we did, and now I'm going to add. Now this is, you're using textured vegetable protein, or? Yeah, this is just the regular veggie okay. meat that we get okay. in our in our Adventist store. Now, if you want to try fried chick, okay. At this point, you would, you know, use fried chick. And if you want to try it with maybe mushrooms, mm. just nicely chopped. Mm -hmm. You mean it mushrooms is. in the place of the veggie meat? Exactly. Then I said, oh. even in the place of the veggie meat, you can also do fried chick instead of this, mm -hmm. or you can also do mushrooms. Mm -hmm. It'll also absorb taste. It has like a very nice meaty texture. The mushrooms of also course. will taste very nice. Mm -hmm. You just follow the directions and then substitute whatever you want to put in the biryani, anything. Wow. It would be amazing. Okay. Yes. I'm sure, because anything she makes is amazing. So. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I have full confidence in your cooking. That's great. I like options. You know, we yes. need options. Sometimes yes. you say, well, I can't get that at home. Yes. Or in the country I live in, I would have difficulty going to the local market and getting that but you could try mushrooms or you could try something else so that's a nice thing yes mm -hmm. so normally I would allow this to cook at least for 10 minutes because a while then yes mm -hmm. because that veggie meat has to absorb and really mm -hmm. cook it mm -hmm. so you're actually cooking down so when you oh. see you know, all that gravy kind of getting thicker, mm -hmm. and you see the oil kind, kind of coming up, then you know that it's actually done. Okay. Okay? So once, you know, now I know that we can't wait for the whole thing to finish, so we're just going to pretend. <laughs> yeah. and 10 minutes is up, and this is becoming thick, and the oil's coming up. Okay. Yes. And I'm going to add. Sure, smells good. Water. Oh. Now for the basmati rice, I added two, two and a half cups of basmati rice. So for that, we need to add four and a half cups of water. Mm -hmm. So That's I'm just important. gonna, yes, I'm just gonna pour the water. Nice, got it. And now, you use white or brown basmati rice? Well, traditionally in India, we use, you know, the white basmati, but you can do it with brown basmati rice. Okay. You can do it with any rice that you want to experiment it with, you know, whatever they're used to. Mm -hmm. But basmati is better, either brown or white. Yes. But basmati is, you know, for biryanis. So is basmati for all the Indian dishes you would no. use basmati or just for no. biryani? You would Biryanis want and basmati. like I showed once, veggie palau, the special dishes mm -hmm. that we use. We don't use basmati for everything. For, it's not a daily staple. No, no, okay. no, it's mm -hmm. not. So now in this, I would add some salt. Ah, oh, yeah. We need some salt for taste <laughs> and some lime juice. Oh, yes. Guess yummy. what? This is Fresh. the key. This is the key. Mm -hmm. I believe it. Yes. And once you allow the meat to cook, with the lime juice. Oh, so you put this in before the rice is added then? 
Yeah, so now the water has to start boiling. Did Oops. it just shut off? Yeah. <laughs> we Sorry. need to get our flame yeah. going. <laughs> so once the, once the water starts boiling, mm -hmm. then I'll add the rice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah. let me just tell you the procedure kind of. Perfect. So now as, as the water comes to a boil, then we'll add the rice mm -hmm. and we let the rice cook till almost everything, all the water is evaporated. Mm -hmm. And then you see, but the rice is not quite cooked. So we put it in a tray. Like we, a glass baking the, the dish? Glass, yes, okay. glass baking dish. We'll take the rice, put it in there, cover it with foil, and put it in 350 degrees for half an hour. Mm -hmm. And it'll be perfect. Oof, wonderful. And we have a perfect one finished here. Yeah, I have to, I'm going, I'm going to just add the, the rice. rice. Okay. And then we'll look at the finished product and then I get to try some. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. I love this. So do you make this at your church? Any, yes, for any sometimes. special occasions. And, but my church is so spoiled with my lime rice. That's what they want all the time. Oh, so a different rice. Well, lime rice. I did it already here once see? before. So <laughs> if they go to my website, they can find the recipe for all it. All right. And the website is Soothing Sounds. Sweet Soothing Music dot com. Sweet Soothing Music dot com. Okay, look at this, Jill. Oh yeah. See the rice, but we have to wait still. You know. Everything cooks, but since we don't have time, we're just showing them the steps. The rice would absorb, then the you put it in your glass baking dish. Yes. Bake it for? Oh, 30 minutes. 30 minutes. In and 350 degrees, okay. okay? And it comes out? Just like this. Ta-da! Exactly. Ooh, I love it. Very nice, with the cilantro and the... Everything, it tastes so, because there's so huge, massive flavors, just the yes. so f flavorful dish. If you try it, you are going to love it. I'm ready. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Can you see that little this sour? Is good. Little mm -hmm. sourness. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, because usually in a biryani dish, they add yogurt. So because we're substituting that for lime. So the lime gives such an amazing flavor. This is exquisite. I don't know any other word to use to describe it, but the flavor is exquisite. It's fabulous. Yes, just everything mixed together. I can actually taste the lime. Just a hint. Just a hint. But just a hint of that. That's yeah. really good. It's not too much, but you just need that little lime taste to give it that little sourness you know, mm -hmm. to the rice. But it's very... <laughs> I'm ready to eat another bite. This is wonderful. <laughs> Let's go to our next recipe and read that. We're making curry next. Yes. Do you want to read that? First? Yes, absolutely. It's vegan mushroom and cashew curry. One cup or a package of mushrooms sliced and quarter cup cashew halves soaked for 15 minutes. Three fourth cup onions chopped one cup tomatoes chopped or pureed, one teaspoon ginger garlic paste, one to two green chilies chopped, now that's optional if they don't want it hot, quarter teaspoon mustard seeds, that's also optional, and half a teaspoon cumin seeds, half to one teaspoon Madras curry powder, half a teaspoon garam masala, two to three tablespoons of olive oil, and salt to taste. Yummy. I'm already hungry just reading that recipe. I really like curry. Yes, curry, I'm telling you, it has such amazing flavors in yeah. the curry. Yeah. Now to get started, we'll just put some oil. Mm -hmm. And this is our special olive oil again. Special pumice, pumice <laughs> olive oil. Good. And you know the first ingredient, mustard seeds. Yes. We, we want that to be popping all the time, <laughs> you know, so it's nice. Do you do mustard seeds in every Indian dish, you no. think? No, you don't. There are only certain dishes that okay. we do. But every curry has to have start with mustard seeds. Well, if you do use mustards, then start it with mustard okay. seeds. Then there's nice. the cumin seeds. Now, what's the difference in flavor versus the seeds or the powder? Like if I'm at home and I say, well, I just have the powder, what would be the difference? Is it really important to make sure I have the seeds? Um, it's just... We use it that way in India, so you can try anywhere, that's what I tell. This is not like a recipe where you have to do just the way I give it. <laughs> you know, you can try other ways. But you're an expert, so I am <laughs> yes. know for so, the expert. <laughs> yes, but I would do it that way, okay. the way I prefer It gives way. different flavor then. Exactly. Okay. So here's the onions. Now nice. we'll just 
that sauteed. So we'll just put the onions. Nice. So you want the seeds to pop before you add the onions? Yeah. They start to... The mustard seeds and the cumin, mm -hmm. because the aroma is so... Yes. Just beautiful. It's fabulous. Yes, and I'm just a little green chilies. Gotta have a little kick. Yeah. <laughs> Or else it's not Indian. <laughs> now, you and your husband both from South India were? Yes, we're okay. from down south. Okay. So we really make it hot. You like it spicy. <laughs> very, very hot and spicy, but I make these recipes very mild so everybody can enjoy. Thank you. We <laughs> certainly appreciate that. <laughs> so now we'll pretend that the onions are nice and brown okay. and then coast ginger garlic paste. Yes. And, and you said that was equal parts equal ginger parts. and garlic. Ginger garlic with just a little water we can blend. Just to blend it. Yes. Okay. And you can keep it, it'll keep for a week to two, or you can freeze it. So you just saute that till the ginger smell kind of goes away. Okay. And it's starting then, to brown a little bit, the onions, I can yes. see it. Yes. And now I'm adding the tomato paste. You just took fresh tomatoes and pureed it? That's or? it. I don't like to use scams. Yeah. There's a lot of additives in canned food. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to just let that simmer just a little bit because you want that raw, you know, smell and the taste of tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Maybe I would say two to three minutes. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to add the dry ingredients. Okay. Okay, I'm going to add my curry powder and the, you know, this is garam masala. So what is garam masala? That's um, cloves, cardamom, cumin, all these powders mixed together. Oh. Yes. So it's a, just a little bit of cinnamon, cloves, mm -hmm. cardamom, mm -hmm. you know, and all those things just, you know, it's the pro proportion is the trick. Yes. Yeah, you should know how much to put. Yes. Do you make your own garam I make masala? My own. Yes. Oof, oof, wonderful. Do you see that simmering? I do. Oh yeah. Yep. Oh, so we, good. you know, we would just let it cook just a little bit, but we'll pretend that it's cooked. Okay. It's very nice. Yes. And now I'm going to add the turmeric. That gives a good And the color. garam masala. Mm -hmm. And the curry powder. There. And quick stir. I know everybody will start coughing. <laughs> I'm going to put the mushrooms and the cashews. Nice. These are and hot. if you put it, yes. Okay. And you just put it like in a little bit, put it on a low heat, mm -hmm. the water will come. But I just like to add and make it a little bit gravy, so I would just add a little bit water, just mm -hmm. a half a cup of water. And then let the mushrooms start to cook down. Yes. Yeah. Nice. And there you see that. Now this mixture, you need to let it really, really cook down. And I forgot to add a little salt. It's important. It's very, very important <laughs> because we would not taste much. Yes. You don't have the salt. That's right. But you just need to mix all these ingredients and let it cook and cook it down. Mm -hmm. You know, you will see the water will come if you put the lid on. That's right. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it just evaporates. Everything evaporates. Yes. So you need to close it with the lid. And I am telling you, you have never, ever tasted mushrooms this tasty. Really? Yes, because there's cashews in it. Yes. And there's curry powder. You know, when you use the, you know, the curry powder mm -hmm. and the chilies. And, and the getter masala. All everything that. else. The cumin, the mustard, wow. everything else yeah. for the mushrooms. It just takes it to another level. It's, wow. it's just, yes. And, and the mushrooms are so healthy. They're mm -hmm. high in antioxidants. Mm -hmm. They have so many vitamins and minerals. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's really healthy for us. Very low in calories and carbs. And there's no fat virtually. Mm -hmm. Zero fat, you know. It's amazing. So, yeah, so it's so, so beneficial. But if you taste it, you would see like, wow, is this mushroom? Wow. You know, I don't think you ever tasted mushrooms so tasty. I don't think I have I made either. The, I made this at home for my husband. Mm -hmm. 
He just loved it. <laughs> yes, he loved it, and he, he wanted more and more. He, yes. he just loved it, really, I think. It, it's really, really very flavorful dish, and it's very, you know, the mushrooms are really dense in nutrients, very, you know, rich. How long do you cook it for? Oh, this has to cook at least for 10. 15 minutes, so I know that it's going to take, see that? Uh, yep, oh yeah, you can see the liquid starting to come out of it. See that? Definitely, oh yeah. Yep. And it's already cooking down. Yeah. You can see that too, yeah. the mushrooms are starting to cook down. I put it on high. <laughs> so we can. <laughs> We're trying to facilitate We're trying, this process. Trying. But, but you can see that, it's, it's nicely coming together. Of course. You know? We have one that's all finished over here. Yeah. I can see that really cooked down over there. Yeah. That's how it looks. Yeah, oh, that's fabulous. So it you can try a little bit. And see. I can. I got my little bowl underneath the counter here. <laughs> I cannot wait to try. I gotta make sure I get a mushroom in this to try this. Mmm. Mmm. We have transformed those mushrooms. Mm -mm -mm. I don't think I have, I agree with you. I have never had a mushroom that I like better than this right here. Yes. I don't mind mushrooms. It's not like I'm opposed yes, to yes. mushrooms, but that is fabulous. Yes. It's just flavor. It is. It's just flavor. Oh, yeah. Such a depth of flavor. Mm -hmm. When you add all that, mm -hmm. it, it's just so tasty. You want to just eat more. I mean, you know, people are not excited to eat vegetables, mm -hmm. but this is a very nice yeah. way to prepare it. Mm -hmm. And nobody can refuse. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So what type of rice do you serve curries over? Is there a certain type of rice or just any rice? Just any rice. You can have, you know, you can, have, like I made the biryani. Mm -hmm. You can eat this with biryani. Okay. You know, in, in combination with biryani. Okay. We usually eat curries with rice. Right. Or bread, like flat bread mm -hmm. or roti or something like okay. that. So all the curries go with something. Yes, they're not just on them by themselves. No, all, you no, know, you would no. eat it with something. Yeah. So I know we're going to go to the next recipe, but before we do that, I want to make sure we put up your contact information. We're going to do it several times throughout the program. Many times we put a contact up at the end of the program, but today's a little different. So if people want to email you, what is your email address? It's Padma Medidi at gmail.com. Okay, Padma, I see it at the bottom of the screen. We got the best crew in the world. Padma <laughs> Medidi at gmail.com. That's P A D M A M E D I D I at gmail.com. And what about your phone number if people want to call you and contact you? It's 813 325 5783. Okay, 813-325-5783. And you are available to come. Um, I know if people have questions about this, you're, you're happy oh, to Oh, absolutely, them. absolutely. You know, and I get a lot of calls. They have so many questions. <laughs> so sometimes if people do call and I'm unable to answer because I'm on another call, right. please to call back and I will answer all their questions. Amen, absolutely. <laughs> and you also travel, you know? Yes, we travel quite a bit yes. sometimes, but they can email me. That's right. And I always get back with them. Okay. So I have people contacting me from everywhere. Amen. All different countries, you know, yeah. and they love the food and the dishes yeah. and the music and whatever it is that, yeah. that they want. But I'm Amen. very excited. Amen. We're so excited God. too. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. He's just using us as his vessels. Amen. That's the best. Let's go to our next recipe for the vegan sauteed beets. Now this looks yummy. We have three medium beets with leaves attached. One to two tablespoons olive oil, one half teaspoon mustard seeds, one and a half teaspoon urad dal, one small onion chopped, one to two green chilies chopped, five to 10 curry leaves, which is optional, beet leaves that are rinsed and chopped, one small tomato puree. So for the sautéed beets, is that traditional Indian to do sautéed beets? Yeah, they do. They do. Okay. You sauté it, but anything we any add. Any vegetable? Any vegetable, okay. but we add all the Indian spices to it. Yes. So that that's why it makes it special. You know, I know you just boil and eat, but for... <laughs> 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 but you know, we, there is a lot of truth in that, you yeah. know, in how traditional Americans, we just boil and eat. You yes, are right. Mm -hmm. But we don't. And actually, these beets, I did boil. Okay. We did boil okay. and cut them into nice quarter size, nice. you know, pieces. Yep. Uh, so that's already done. And if you can see here, I also have the leaves. I don't throw the leaves. I love the beet leaves. They have yes. high nutrition to them. So now that we added the oil, it's, it's nice and warm. We're going to add the 
mustard seeds. We need them. They will start sputtering. Yeah, I can't wait. I, I'm going to listen for them this time to hear them. Here. Because they will start to pop. Don't they yes. start to pop? Because the oil is hot. You can mm -hmm. see that. Oh, I can see the oil's hot. So we'll wait just a moment because I really want to hear them pop here. <laughs> How long does it take to pop? It's going to pop before we add the wet ingredients. You okay. know, I like to hear the popping Ooh, because yeah. that gives the flavor. When they pop, that means they are really, you know, mm -hmm. very well nice. done. Oh, I hear it. There was one. Don't get Yay. too close because they'll come on your face. I can hear it. See the curry. That's great. And the chili. Almost and like you're starting onion. to do popcorn. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but can you smell it? Oh, yeah. What do you think that is, the mustard? Mm -hmm. That adds a lot of flavor. Mm. Smells fabulous. Sorry. It's a little too hot. <laughs> Put it down. You make that just a little brown. And now, for this one, let's pretend that's brown, and we're going to add the leaves. Nice. And these are already, you already chopped them. Absolutely. <laughs> See that? My husband helped how beautifully they're yeah. chopped. I could never do that. He's a perfectionist. Now, he did a great job. <laughs> Special thanks to you, Dr. Mediti. <laughs> yeah, and I'm very thankful for him. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Mm. Now, I would just cook that for three or five minutes or whatever, just for that, you know. Kind of wilt. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. for the leaves. And then I would add the tomato mm -hmm. paste. Because now, tomato kind of, you know, it has a nice taste to it. It does. So it does. that's the reason why I, I, but I like to puree my tomatoes. Mm -hmm. You can chop and put them, but I like yeah. it puree because it really actually mixes together mm -hmm. very well with all the ingredients. It's already starting to wilt, I can see yeah. that. Because this cooks very fast. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't take very long to cook. So let's pretend and add the tomato. <laughs> okay. Got a great color, that tomato. Yes. Now, see that? You just have to make sure it's, you stir it well and mix yeah. all the ingredients beautifully. Do you put the cover back on and cook it some more yes, before the beets? absolutely. Okay. You know, I know we're always pressed for time. <laughs> the, the leaves are really high in calcium though, aren't they? Aren't the leaves, the beet leaves good yes, for Yes, they're high in iron, more than iron. spinach. More than oh, spinach, nice. the beet leaves are higher and they also say, you know, helps in prevents osteoporosis and mm -hmm. Alzheimer's. There are so many cardiovascular benefits from the beets wow. and the beet leaves itself. Wow. Yes, so they are just loaded. Wow. <laughs> and with my recipe, that's going to taste, you're like, whoa, this is beets. You will not believe it. Wow. Because look how much I'm putting in. Did you ever put this in beets? No, like, I never did. <laughs> yeah. So you will see the difference when you, you know, just try it. That's and right. now I'm going to add the beets. And then you add a little salt to this. Oh, uh, yeah. And there you go. Nice. I have my greens, I have the beets, mm -hmm. so you should see. And you have the seeds, and you have the seasonings, and you have the things that you would add to like enhance the flavor and yes. to make it so much better instead of, as we do, just boiled beets. <laughs> <laughs> just to think of the, the flavor in that, I mean, that's, that's exciting. Exactly. And it, I think it's a good way to help your, your family eat it as well. You know, maybe your spouse or your kids say, well, I don't really want to eat vegetables, but this is a good way to get that. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, the beets, I made it. You know, because I'm trying for this. My husband is the guinea pig. <laughs> but he loved it. My kids came over and they're like, wow, we love yeah. the beets. Just the flavor is so rich. Yes, that's wonderful. Yeah. And in this, I didn't even use the curry powder. Hey. This without the curry powder, but just those little yep. mustard seeds. How long does it cook for with the beets before we have the final we, product? Yeah, with, with, you don't have to let it cook that long. You, you, don't, you don't want to overcook the beets. Okay. So you like them a little you know, half cooked, mm -hmm. but it tastes great. And I think this should be done and I'll mm, turn it off so you wonderful. can Wonderful, and we have one that's finished over there. It looks fabulous. And I have my own stash of beets under here. Let me make sure I get a leaf in here too. Mmm, <laughs> mmm, mmm. 
Can you believe it? I could eat the entire yes, pot. I know. Oh, yeah. That's fabulous. It's got a nice, just a little kick, yes. just a little bit. Good flavor, though. Yes. I can still taste the beet, though. Yes. Just a little bit, but oh, yeah, that's good. Mm. I love this. Yes, you should try it. Try making it. <laughs> I will try this at home, even though my husband doesn't like beets, but he might like beets. If oh, I yes. Like See? They like, when I do beets and somebody said, we don't like lima beans, <laughs> they tried mine. <laughs> wow, they loved it. See, that's right. Let's read our next recipe. We're going to make vegan sautéed kale and coconut. For that, we need one to two tablespoons olive oil, one bag of kale, one to two green chilies chopped, one quarter teaspoon mustard seeds, one quarter teaspoon cumin seeds, one half teaspoon urad dal, one to two garlic cloves chopped, one to two tablespoons grated coconut, fresh or frozen. Now that looks yummy. This is the most delicious recipe. <laughs> I'm sure it is. <laughs> and we're sauteing another vegetable like we did with the beets. Now yes. we're doing it with the kale. Yes, so we, I put the oil, it's pumice. If you use the other oil, you can't heat it up that much, olive oil. Okay. Just remember that, so that's why I use this oil so we can heat this up a little. It's good. Yes, and first goes our? Yes, mustard seeds. Mustard seeds, then our cumin seeds. And we're going to hear them pop a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I love and that. there is our urad. Okay, urad dal. Yes. I'm not pronouncing that quite correctly, but nice. Whew. And you can start smelling already. I'm going to put nice. the chilies. Chilies and garlic. Nice. Just saute that very light. See that just a little bit. Oh yeah. And now I'm going to add the kale. Nice. You got it. That oil starts to really flatter. Yeah. Mmm. Now kale is really king, isn't it, as a vegetable? I'm telling you, kale is super dense with nutrients mm -hmm. packed. Mm -hmm with nutrients, it's high in calcium, iron, much more than spinach. Really? Yes, actually vitamin C level, I think four times higher than wow. spinach. And here we think uh, spinach is a superfood, right? Yes. And spinach is really it healthy is. for us it and is. we want to do this, but it kale is, but is kale even kale tops it, it's the king. Wow, I love <laughs> Kale that. is the king. <laughs> I love that. So we just saute this. Okay. It's already starting to wilt. I yes. can see that. So you don't have to cook kale that long. Mm -hmm. Because if you overcook it, it gets to a little bit of bitter, bitterish taste. Yep. So you just put a little bit of salt. So you do it to taste, like you add a little bit and then you taste it and then kind of yeah. see. Okay. That's what I do because, you know, some people like it a little bit more, some mm -hmm. people don't. See how easy this is? I love it. It's just that if you want to cook, you just put the lid on and it cooks. Mm -hmm. But this doesn't take but five minutes or 10 minutes to cook. Yeah. But the most difficult part here is to chop it. This is fresh <laughs> kale. This is not frozen. This yes. is fresh. Yes. You take the vein out and kind of mm -hmm. chop it. Mm -hmm. And I, that, that's a little time consuming, but it if is. we do, mm -hmm. you will see the benefits yeah. of the taste. Yeah. Now that this is nicely wilted, I'm going to add the grated coconut. So you used grated coconut. Yes, and this is frozen that I have it. I got it from the Indian store. You can get it, I'm sure, but not sweetened. Okay. You cannot you use. You want unsweetened then. Exactly. Unsweetened coconut. Because this is not a sweet dish, it's a savory dish. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So you don't want to yep. add that. Anything sweet in it. Yeah. You just want the coconut itself has a little sweet to, taste to it. But I am telling you, it is so tasty mm. just with a little coconut in it. Yeah. What a difference it makes. Wow. Because it just enhances the flavor, you know, you just don't want to, you can eat kale by itself, right. but you want it just a little bit, you know, get, get to another level there. Mm -hmm. You just put a little, sprinkle a little coconut. Yeah. Amazing. Now this is just took us what? Five minutes and we're already... Less than five minutes, yes. I think. It's already done. 
And we have one that's done here in the front. That looks beautiful. Yeah. And you can really see the little coconut pieces in there. Yes, I, you want, I want you to try it. Oh, you better believe I'm gonna try it. <laughs> I just got mine from underneath here. Mm. Oh, that's wonderful. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Can you taste mm -hmm. just the coconut? Mm -hmm. I can taste the coconut. It has just a little bit of a kick. Yes. I just put one green chili in there. That's it. Yes, that's, that's what it. I tell yeah. mm -hmm. There's no curry powder, oh, nothing. Good. Just the green chili. Mm -hmm. And you don't want that cooked? Just don't put the green chili. But I like green chilies. <laughs> Let's go to our next recipe. We're going to make dal. And you want to read that recipe for us, Padma. Yes. It's vegan red lentil dal. One cup masoor dal, half a teaspoon turmeric, half to one teaspoon madras curry powder, one to two green chilies chopped, salt to taste, and now the seasoning, quarter teaspoon mustard seeds, quarter teaspoon cumin seeds, one to two red chilies, half, two to three cloves of garlic crushed, one medium onion chopped, five to 10 curry leaves, two to three tablespoons cilantro chopped, one to two tablespoons of olive oil. I'm so excited because now you're going to show us how to make the doll. Yes. So it's yum. very simple if we can learn. We already have, um, we're making with the masoor. This is just red lentils? Red lentils. Okay. We call it masoor dal. Okay. In India. But this is available in all the yep. stores. So you, if you want to cook it on stovetop, just soak this. If you want to cook it in the pressure cooker, you don't have to soak it. It ah, cooks very fast. That's yes. the trick. Yes. But here I'm just putting some red lentils. Mm -hmm. Now you put some water. Good. Just let see that you just put let, just water. Maybe two yeah, cups or two something. cups of yeah. It doesn't hurt. Even if you put more, it won't hurt. It'll cook it cook it down. And we have turned it on now. And to that, we just as it's simmering and boiling. We're not going to wait till it boils. <laughs> has it boiled? The magic of television again. <laughs> yes. But we'll just pretend that's boiling. Mm -hmm. And then we'll add turmeric. Ah, so you wait until it comes to a boil. And yes. then you put in some of your seasoning. Yes. Got it? And then the Madras curry powder. Nice. And then the green chilies. Oof, yummy. And you just give that a nice stir. Mm -hmm. And you need to cook that at least for 30 minutes. So it has to cook a while then? Yes. Mm -hmm. So this, if you put it like maybe in a pressure cooker, mm -hmm. you'd probably be done in 15 minutes. Oh, yes. I like the that. The same ingredients. You can just put that in a pressure cooker and it cooks much faster. Nice. But these red lentils also cook fast. You don't need a pressure cooker. If you mm -hmm. don't have no sweat, mm -hmm. you can do it. Mm -hmm. okay. Red lentils are pretty fast. It's a lot faster than, to me, some of the other beans. You know, yes. if you're trying to cook yes. legumes and you're thinking pinto beans or black beans, it takes a while. But with lentils, oh, yeah. they're a lot and, faster. And if you want it faster, just soak it for 30 minutes to an hour. Mm -hmm. It'll cook even faster. Yep. yep. Okay. So we'll just, now this is, now this, bin, when it's cooked, this is how it looks. It looks like this. Yes. Nice. Woo. I have it all done. Mm-hmm. I like that. So now we'll go to the second step. Which means we put it in here then. Uh, we're going to saute this, so we're going to oh. add the seasonings. Oh, before you add this, got it? Yes, before we add this, we're going to, we're going to season it first. So we're going to season it with... Start with our oil, we got to start with exactly. that. Exactly. <laughs> and I'm telling you, that is just boiled mm -hmm. piece. Mm -hmm. But with this seasoning, you yes. will not believe the taste. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. Yes. So now we have the oil. Nice. And you know what goes next? Mm -hmm. The mustard seeds. <laughs> and then we're going to start to hear them start to pop. Yes, but we're not waiting, so we're adding the cumin seeds. Mm -hmm. And this time we don't add the urad dal. Okay. This for dal, this is already piece, so we okay. don't need to you add You don't need that. that. Okay. Yes. Now, this one, we, we put it, make it into half, mm -hmm. but I know you cannot tolerate <laughs> putting it a whole, 
<laughs> there because it's really hot. Yes. Yes. This is the red cayenne pepper. Okay. You mm -hmm. know, which you know this curry powder mm -hmm. is that powder. Right. That's the powder here with other ingredients in it. And now I'm going to add little curry nice. leaves. And then the, the seeds are starting to pop. I don't know if you can hear that. Ooh. And then the garlic. Yeah. Now your your onions, you always use the red onions or the purple onions. Is there a reason for that? Well, I love the taste of okay. red onions. You know, we use that in India okay. quite a bit. I like it too. I wasn't sure if there's a reason why, you know, that instead of, you know, the little yellow onions or the sweet onions or something. I, it's just the it's taste. Just flavor. Flavor. Good. And here it is. Now we are going to yeah. nicely let this simmer and get round. Mm -hmm. And any time you want them to cook fast, put the lid on. <laughs> And you know the amazing benefits of lentils, the red mm. lentils. Okay. You have, it's very high in protein, uh -huh. virtually fat-free. Mm -hmm. So there's so many help to add on to this. If you want to, while cooking, you can add spinach to it, okay? Nice. And then add tomato and spinach, and it gives a nice flavor. There's no restriction. I'm just giving you the basic dal, that's all. Mm -hmm. But you can add, just be creative and add, mm -hmm. you know, more to this to bring out more flavor. So you don't have to cook twice. So you just put your spinach in there, you have your spinach and you have your lentils, you have everything I in there. I like it. Yes, just with a little tomato mm -hmm. while it's cooking. If you want to put it in a pressure cooker, you can do it. Mm -hmm. That's what I do so many times. So it's really, this is a basic recipe and then I can adjust it depending on my own taste exactly. or my own preferences. Yes. I can alter it. Yeah. I like that. And you don't you don't have red red um, lentils, you want to use split peas, you know the green peas? Oh yeah. You can They're use good. those. Mm -hmm. Anything that you have you can use. You oh. don't have to to think that, oh, sh Padma told me this recipe and you have to follow it closely. <laughs> the trick with the, the Indian cooking is you can do anything. My dal won't taste the same the next time I make it because I don't measure anything. I'm just throwing stuff. Yeah. You know, so it, it, it always tastes different, but yeah. it tastes good. But you know what that is? That's a sign of a true cook. You know, <laughs> that's a sign of someone, God has given you a gift, you know, Padma for cooking, and that's, that's a wonderful thing. So this is almost brown, and now I'm going to add some cilantro. Nice. Good. Cilantro always gives it a very nice flavor. Mm -hmm. So you don't even have to cut up the cilantro first. Yes, they're, they're slightly chopped. A little bit, a little but not bit. real fine. Not fine. And sometimes you just take it with your hand and do it because it still has the flavor. <laughs> you can chop it and put it. And it's like great. It. Yeah. Fabulous. And now, we'll pretend this is almost done. So then we add this later? Yes, right now. Okay. Right now. I'm going to put this down because it's going to make a huge <laughs> sound. Okay, go ahead. Wow. Oh, you see that? fabulous. Now, yes. you, now you just put a little salt. Okay. I'm telling you, this tastes <laughs> amazing. It sure it does. Oof, yummy. So do you let it cook down a good deal? Yes. You want it now, pretty depending, thick or how depending, do you normally like your dough? Depending dal? on whatever you prefer. I prefer it very thin okay. because we eat it with rice and whatever. That's okay. South India. Okay. But North India, they eat it thick like this because oh, really? they eat it with roti. They eat it with flat bread. Mm -hmm. So they like it thick, so they, they like to eat it with that. But I'm telling you, this is one of the staple dish in India. It's red lentils. Every house in South India, we have this for lunch every day. So this is a normal, traditional, everyday dish? Normal, traditional, yeah. everyday dish for lunch. We had it in our house every single day. My husband had it every single day. But we eat it with rice. Okay. Because I'm South Indian. Mm -hmm. So it's rice, rice, rice all the time. Okay. So rice and dal, rice and dal mm -hmm. for lunch with some vegetables mm -hmm. at the side. Yeah. But this is really used a lot in India, from North India to South India. It's just a different, different version. They use it. But think how healthy that is. You know, if you think we ate this 
every day for lunch. I mean, how healthy would yeah. you be? You know, we're not talking about going out and getting fries and eating a Mac, you know, no, a Big Mac no. or having yes. a milkshake, you know, traditional American yes. food. This is this is healthy. So even if at home, you know, you're trying to make changes, um, you can say one day, you know, for lunch, I'm going to alter what I eat and make healthier choices. It's and all about planning. The next week, we can try two days and, you know, just increase that. But you need to plan. Yes. If you don't plan, you plan to fail. That's good. <laughs> so you need to plan, mm -hmm. and then you'll be able to make these dishes. Like you want to soak it mm -hmm. for a little bit, but that's all planning. Mm -hmm. You know, if we plan, we can make something healthy in just... I it love doesn't take it. yes I yes love yes it. We you have, should try it I will we have one that's all finished and I can see that set up very nicely and I have one behind the counter that I'm going to try mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. that is fabulous oh yeah mm. Mm -hmm. that's all it is is lentils I'm ready for another bite that's very good and and I'm telling you it's the seasoning it is. Oh, yeah. If you just Even ate that boiled lentils, it will not taste that way, no matter what you add. Mm -hmm. But it's the mustard and cumin. It's fabulous. Yes. Let's go to our mango lassi. we got to have dessert, and then we'll look at everything we made. So let's read that recipe for the last one. Vegan mango lassi is one cup plain vegan yogurt, one cup mango, fresh frozen pieces, or canned pulp. One to two tablespoons honey or sugar. One cup crushed ice. Every good meal has to have some sort of little sweet treat or some sort of dessert at the end. So I'm excited about this mango lassi and to make it vegan. Yes. Usually they have regular yogurt. Mm -hmm. So now we have substituted that for soy yogurt. I like it. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to add, this is mango pulp. I, I got it from the Indian store. Mm -hmm. Uh, so it's really, really good. You can have it frozen or you can have fresh mangoes. Ooh. Anything you can okay. use if you do have. So we'll just add that. Nice. And a little bit of the yogurt. Yep. Nice combination. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want it like a smoothie, mm -hmm. you can just do half and half of this and you're good to go. Mm. But usually mango less is like a little, you know, juice. They don't right. just, they don't mm -hmm. eat it like a smoothie, mm -hmm. but you have an option. We'd like to add just a little sugar to it, mm -hmm. brown sugar. Give it just a little sweetener. Yes, yes. And then ice. Mm -hmm. And I want to make it not too thick, so that's why I'm just adding just a little bit of water. Okay. Just caught a cup of water. <laughs> so it won't be... Too thick. Yes. We'll just put it here. And then we get to try it. That's the best part. Yes. <laughs> we'll make some noise. Nice. Ooh, I can't wait to try it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most simple recipe. Mm -hmm. Yummy. There you go. You have one finished there, but I'm going to try this. This is my glass. Thank yes. you. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Oh, this is exquisite. Ooh. I love the mango. It's nice and creamy. Just a little sweet, but not too much. Yes. This is fabulous. Yes, with the yogurt in combination. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, this is wonderful. Let's look. We made a lot of wonderful dishes here today. Yes. We started with the biryani. Biryani mm -hmm. is a combination of rice and the meat. This is veggie meat. Mm -hmm. You know, you can add anything. You want to add vegetables, you mm -hmm. can add, but it's a rice with the meat, which veggie meat, fried chick, anything you can. Mm -hmm. And it tasted great, right? Oh, it tasted beyond <laughs> great. It was fabulous. And then I see our curry, the That's mushroom cashew, cashew curry. Yes. Mm -hmm. The cashews really give it a twist to that. And it's really, really flavorful. Mm -hmm. And uh, you should try that dish when you go home. I know you already <laughs> had part of it here. I did. That, that's the best mushrooms I have ever eaten. And the, the sauteed beets? Beets. Didn't it, that taste It nice. was fabulous. <laughs> I love it. My kids love it. Everybody loves it. And you have the beet tops. I mean, what's better than that than getting all the nutrition yes. in that, in the tops of the beets as yeah. well? So, so, and the leaves too. Yes. So that's what I meant by the 
the top, but yes. the leaves, yes. And the leaves mm -hmm. and the beets. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's very, very, very nutritional. Mm. The only thing you have to boil. So I don't know if somebody wants to, they can grate it and maybe chop the raw Smart. beets and try the same mm -hmm. recipe. Absolutely. And we had the the kale. This was sautéed kale as well, and that was fabulous. Yes, didn't that? And it cooked oh, so fast. Yes. It cooked so fast it with was, the coconut. Yes, and the dal. Ooh, <laughs> yummy. And you said every day this is a staple. Eating In that. India. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People eat that, you know. Yeah. They can't afford to go and buy and eat all, you know, right. meats and this and that and all that. So everybody dull, everybody mm -hmm. in every home. Yeah, and the mango lassi, which is beyond good. <laughs> mm -mm. Oh, we love that. Mm. Really? Oh, yes. I love that. That's very good. So let's talk about your website and your email one more time because we want to make sure we give you at home opportunity to contact Padma for yourself. Um, maybe you want her to come to your area and you're interested in her coming for a cooking school or something else. Or maybe you're saying, I want more information on these recipes. Yes. I have questions. So give us, first of all, your website again, and then we'll go to the other options. It's sweet soothingmusic.com all one word okay sweet soothingmusic.com soothing and you have your CDs on there too yes all free downloads now it's all the videos and audios are free oh amen yes i put it out for free downloads anybody oh, that wants to that's wonderful that's tremendous ministry and then your your email address what's your email address my email is padma medidi at gmail.com. Okay, so P A D M A M A M E D I D I. Okay, at gmail.com. And what about your phone number? My Let's phone number is 813 325 5783. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you. God has given you a tremendous gift, and we always love when you come in and when you share with the family at home um, the recipes that he's given to you. But we have, we're almost out of time. Is there a parting thought that you want to leave with our friends at home? Maybe someone's trying to make a transition to a more plant-based diet or maybe experimenting with more Indian cuisine. What would you tell them? I would tell them it's so easy, it's so healthy, and it's good for our bodies. So I would encourage them to try. And try these recipes, call me. Call me and I'll encourage them and tell them how to make tasty food so that we can live a healthy life. Amen, that's right. I think God wants us to be in health um, because then our minds are clear yes. and we can hear the voice of God so much better. And special thanks for coming and for my beautiful sari. We got uh, to wear these together. Yes, and you look lovely. Oh, you do too. <laughs> and you, you brought in the jasmine flowers. Yes, these were shipped from India for me. These are real fresh jasmine. Oh, you know, at home, you can't smell, but we can smell it here. Yes. It's, oh, it's so delicate. It's beautiful. Well, we hope that you have enjoyed this program, that you experiment and try to widen your horizons. Enjoy the food. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.